Hello, my dear Aquarian friends. Um, welcome. I have a beautiful forecast for you right here. Um, and I'm going to be sharing it with you, of course. Uh, however, first I want to share something uh, that, I, that perhaps you might enjoy watching. A couple of weeks ago, the Atlanta Interfaith Broadcasting a Broadcast Network, uh, TV network, brought a crew over here and interviewed me. Uh, and the name of the show that is now available is called Spiritual Journey. And I've got the link, the YouTube link. So I'm going to give it to you now. And if it's something you think you might enjoy, um, here it is. There are spaces between all of the words, by the way, just one space, okay? Maxine Taylor and the spiritual awakening slash spiritual journey dash YouTube. One more time. Maxine Taylor and the spiritual awakening slash spiritual journey dash YouTube. I hope you find it interesting and inspiring. Now let's talk about you. Okay. All righty. Well, let's start with this gorgeous fourth house. Jupiter, the greater benefic is, has been, and it is still the entire month in your fourth house of home, family, real estate, all domestic issues. And Jupiter, the greater benefic, blesses you wherever it is in your chart. Uh, it brings truth. It brings uh, joviality. It, um, it blesses you. It's what I said that earlier. That's exactly what it is. Now, Mercury is also there. Mercury is what you think about and talk about. Okay? So you have the conscious mind, Gemini, and the higher mind, Jupiter, dealing with family matters and home matters for yourself. On the 11th, Mercury moves into your fifth house of fun and games. Jupiter stays in that fourth house, blessing you all June. Um, the fifth house, as I said, fun and games, it's children. It's also your pets. It is what you enjoy doing and how you enjoy it. Okay, so we've got Mercury here. Um, it comes, it moves into that fifth house on the 11th. Um, and you're thinking about perhaps socializing. And then on the 26th, it moves into your sixth house and you're focused on your job and your health. Health. Okay. Now, you also have the sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life in that fifth house. And so we're talking about enjoying yourself, enjoying your children and making them the center of your life because the sun is the center of our solar system. Um, it's been there in that fifth house and it's gonna stay there till the 21st when it lights up your sixth house of work and health and service. And um, as a humanitarian, uh, all three of those would apply to you uh, because serving is something that you enjoy. Um, quite beautiful. So there's uh, Mercury in the fifth house talking and sharing ideas and the sun saying, let's play, let's party. On the 21st, the sun moves into your sixth house and on the 26th, Mercury moves into your sixth house. So you're thinking of maybe changing a project, changing jobs, but you will be the leader on any work team you're on because the sun is there. Beautiful. Venus, the planet of love and beauty, is also in that sixth house. And so that says you're enjoying your job. And you might say, well, yes and no. 
Well, I hope it's yes, because on the fifth, it moves into the seventh house of partnership. Okay. Uh, and if you do not have a special someone in your life, this is very favorable um, for finding somebody because from the fifth right up to the end of June, Venus in, is in the seventh house of partnership. And so there are loving relationships. In addition, Mars is in that seventh house. Mars is passion. Mars is uh, war. Mars is uh, what we what we are willing to fight with and fight for. Um, it is number one. That's not the same as the sun. That's the center of our life. It is what we put first. And so you will be feeling driven perhaps to get out there and be with people. That's okay. Get out there and be with them. So you've got love and passion in the area of relationships. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful June for you. It's, a, you know, this is the potential. It's up to you to use it as you see fit. Okay. Full moon on June 3rd. On the full moon, things come to a head. This full moon is in 13 of Sagittarius. It's in your 11th house of friends, hopes, wishes. It is in the house governed in the natural zodiac by your sign, Aquarius. And so um, the full moon brings friendships to a head. It helps you with philanthropic organizations. It brings out your basic nature, which is the humanitarian and the friend to all. And then two weeks later, we've got a new moon. Now, the full moon brings things to a head, which is fabulous. The new moon starts the energy going again because the two days before the new moon, when we're in the dark of the moon, there's no energy. And on the new moon, it starts moving forward. Oh, and yes, it's back in that fifth house of fun and games. So you're going to be a friend to all, and you're also going to party. Um, this new moon is on the 18th. It's in 26 Gemini. Find it in your birth chart, and you will have the total picture. So I hope that you have a wonderful June, and that you'll join me in July when, once again, I take a look at your forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.